This video will demonstrate the basics of how to use simple gears on race cars. Simple Git can easily be installed using Pac-Man by selecting Simple Git Lib Git 2 from the list of packages and clicking Install. Now we're ready to start using it. The first thing you want to do is to clone a pre-existing repository. The first step is to open the directory where you want to clone the repository and set it as the current directory. Next, you'll need to open a task window and type sgit clone followed by the URL of the repository, followed by the directory to create, and then press enter. This can take some time, so you may want to do something else while it's complete. Once this is done, you'll end up with a new directory containing the files in the repository. Once you've made changes to the repository, you'll want to comment them. Before you comment anything, you will need to set up your username and email address. You'll also need to set the current directory to a folder in a repository. You can use sgit status to show which files have been changed. Here you can see the modified file under changes not staged for comet. You can see which lines have changed using sgit diff. To specify a file to comet, type sgit as followed by the file you want to comment relative to the current directory. If you type sgit status again, you can see the file that was just added is listed under changes to be commented. To comment the changes, type sgit comment minus m, followed by a description of the changes. The final step is to push the changes to the remote repository, using sgit push origin, followed by the name of the current branch. And that's it. Thanks for watching.